Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Intelmona Scout Selections here for Monday, August 29th. Before we get into today's play of the day, a quick recap of what happened yesterday. Really not much to go through. Give Eddie a look at play for the U.S. Open in tennis, which starts on Monday. So if you want a video on some tennis action, check out the video before this one. But not much to recap because neither play ended up happening. So looking at baseball for Monday's card, going to go to a matchup, a late night matchup between the Yankees and the Angels, taking place at around 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time, and for this matchup, we like the Angels, plus one and a half runs at minus 108 on FanDuel, time recording of 3 a.m. Eastern Time. Coverings why we like the Angels to keep this game close. First reason, the Angels were playing some awful baseball, then they traveled to Toronto and randomly got back on track. The Angels won each of the three games they swept, and they won each of those games by at least two runs, so the Angels, who were playing some awful be uh, baseball, randomly were able to pitch well only giving up three runs in the entire series, and they were good offensively as they scored 22 runs in those three games. So the Angels randomly flipped the switch, while the Yankees really did not. The Yankees ended up losing uh, the last two games against Oakland, and Oakland's one of the worst teams in the league. The Yankees' offense especially fell apart as the Yankees only recorded five hits in the last 22 innings of that series. And the Yankees' offensive struggles have been well-documented, but to go through some numbers, the Yankees have scored less than five runs in 16 of their last 18 games. So the idea that the Yankees are going to win this game by two-plus runs and they have a hard time getting past four, I find a little bit hard to believe. And the Angels should do enough offensively with Trout and Otani uh, playing together once again to potentially make this very difficult for the Yankees to even win the game outright, but especially to win this game by margin. But to go through the actual pitching matchup, Suarez is pitching for the Angels. His overall season numbers are mediocre, but he has been very good over the past couple of starts. Last five starts, 28 innings pitched, 1.93 ERA. So I think he should be able to keep the Yankees in check. Meanwhile, you have Montes pitching for New York. And so far, since joining the Yankees, he's been pretty underwhelming. Last four starts, 19 and two-thirds innings pitched, 7.32 ERA. Plus, the Angels have seen him a lot because Montes used to pitch for Oakland. So the Angels are pretty familiar with his pitching repertoire. And I do think the Angels could get to him early in this matchup as a result. If you want to go through some trends as well, the Yankees have been really bad away from Yankee Stadium. The Yankees are 4-11 and straight up in their last 15 road games. But you have an Angels team that randomly played well, both offensively and defensively and pitching over the weekend against Toronto. The Yankees, who once again fell apart offensively for the last two games against Oakland. And Suarez has been better than Montes for the past month. But the Yankees win this game is like minus 190. You could take the Angels money line if you want to be more risky. But I'll take the Angels plus one and a half, daring the Yankees to do enough offensively in order to win this game by two runs. I'll take my chances. Play that once again here for Monday, August 29th. It's going to be on the Angels plus one and a half runs and minus 108 on FanDuel. Bye, everyone.